everybody, Matt and Tom back with you. Behind us, snow on them there hills. Uh, it's a, a windy, frosty day, and we're above a place called Whitworth, and we've come to have a look at another quarry on the hills up here. I think it's part of the Valley of Stone, um, so we've been here before, things like Lee Quarry, etc. We went into this one, this is called Fassic Quarry. Fassic Stone Mine. Fassic Stone Mine, even. And we've trudged across the hills and we're just going to have a look around. Um, we'll add a few bits and pictures on the way if we can. So, yeah, let's see what we can find. So, I'm calling it Facet Stone Mine and Quarry. Potentially, I'm saying it wrong. It may well be called Face It. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. However, it is still part of Rosendale's famous Valley of Stone. These hills and landscapes are where people worked with the stone. They built their homes, their towns and their lives around the stone found on the hills around them. These quarries saw thousands of men in the area work here over almost two centuries and the stone was exported across the UK and beyond. Fasic Quarry was where sandstone flags were extracted from, not only the surface, but under the quarry was apparently a labyrinth of tunnels where the stone would be taken from. Previously we've looked at Lee Quarry, Musbury Heights, Pinner Quarry, but each one is different. This one at the moment is currently being used as a quad bike racing track some of it anyway so if you do visit here please be mindful that this is happening potentially at the weekends or on bank holidays this will be a busy busy area so there is a path through it but just be careful Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. So what can you see up there? There's a little hole. Yeah. Sort of mat size. Mat size hole. Mat size hole. Little hole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slender hole. Thank you. Uh, you just got to jump over this. Yeah. <laughs> and then climb up a wall about six feet. Wow. Okay. Probably is. I'm not in an outfit today. Is there any floor as well? <laughs>
Oh. oh my goodness. Wow. <gasps> Look at that. Much journey to the century. <laughs> Right, just sheltering in a cave for a minute. It's not very easy to see if it goes any distance. Oh, there is a bit down there. What do you think? Mm. I got me torch. Are you smoking a lead pipe? <laughs> not today, darling. <laughs> Godspeed, sir. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, hell. Oh, wow. Oh, bones. Yeah. We're not quite set up for this today, are we? I'll take the torch and have a look just at the end, but I'm not going any further than that. Ah, it goes much further than that. Get you all right there? Yeah. Wow. Well. So, not for today, unfortunately, but that is, that's a big hole. Okay, absolutely stinks of sheep down here. Not just this dead one. No, but there might be one there. Bonkers. Wow, is that the end? Um, it's the end of this cover. That's crazy. <laughs> but I think there's probably more. Oh, you're 100%. Alright. 
nothing of any sense then. <laughs> Do you think it's a little bit like um, pin a quarry, isn't it? That you can see mm. that there are things beyond. Wow. Okay, so we're in the quarry here inside one of the tunnels. Not going far because we're not properly equipped or anything like that. And of course if you've watched me in tunnels before, you know I'm usually in gold hot pants. So I'm nowhere near ready for this one today. Can't get to the centre of the earth like that. Can't get to the centre of the earth dressed boring. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just go a little bit further but you know we can see we haven't come that far in today. But these are insane. It's like every hillside has one on. It's like pinner times four. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. There's a huge opening just to your right there, I'm sure. There? It's slightly further left. There. Oh yeah, there's one there. Wow. There's one there. The one there as well. As we, I think as we discovered in Pinna, the arrows are not necessarily to be trusted. <laughs> no. Okay. It's fabulous though, isn't it? It's great. Right, okay, so... <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Tom's just there. But yeah, that's as far as we're going to go today. I know it's not like, not like us, we usually just scramble through but they need a better torch like we had when we went to the other one just in case I can imagine if it's suddenly run out of batteries we're not prepared so but it's what amazing to suddenly find this here <laughs> very pleased very pleased yeah but yeah let's leave it at that Right, we're out of the caves and the tunnels. <laughs> it's never a good idea when you've got asthma to go underground, is it? Anyway, perfect. Uh, that was a fantastic find. That was, yeah, amazing. I don't know what else to say. Facet quarry, fabulous. Especially this bit with the tunnels. But it's all good. But yeah, it is in use. It's not abandoned, so just be aware of that. Um, there will often be bikes going up and down here, so you know, just keep that in mind. I think you're probably all right to walk across it. There are styles and paths, etc. So just be careful. And also, just beyond is a working quarry as well, so don't go too far. Right, good stuff. We'll see you for the next video. Bye for now.